Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Latvian Exotics YouTube channel. I watched a video on YouTube retention, so you know where the like button is, you know where the subscribe button is. They're all right down there. Go down there and click them and enjoy the 12th episode of... <laughs> it's actually the 11th episode of the Aprilia SR50 build, so let's get that right. Let's get right into the video. I'm back a few days later and I'm happy that the rims haven't rusted over. I will get done with priming the other side of the rims today. Hopefully clean up this Bazzetti side stand a little bit, but I'm not going to clean it fully because I want the design. I decided that I'm just going to get the rust off of it a little bit and hit it with clear coat on top. I want it to be kind of OEM and uh, I'm going to do the exhaust today, but not this. I'm just going to be doing the silencer because it looks pretty beat up as you can see here. I don't know what all this stuff is. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning it, hitting it with the primer and cleaning the end and uh, hitting them with clear coat. I want to get all the metal parts done for the day. I started with the spring here. I got it cleaned from the outside mostly. What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to put on some more paint remover to it and then try to figure out how to clean the inside. If anyone has any genius ideas of how to do that, maybe leave that down in the comments, but I'm probably going to think of something. And that's about it for my plans for the day. Cleaning and priming. That's that. While I was redoing the exhaust, I uncovered something pretty interesting. There's a little bit of a hole in the silencer. He filled it up with, I don't know what, it's not very great, but what I'll do is I'll just simply fill it with body filler and then sand it down so that it's even, prime it, and it should be good. Side. But something that I wanted to point out as well, this is uh, how the exhaust silencer looks after being fully cleaned. I know I didn't remove all the paint, but that doesn't matter because I sanded it down. Now that's the little dent that it has. That's whatever. I didn't clean this side. I'm still going to clean that. I sawed off the exhaust tip. You can see right now it looks very nice, but look at the old one. It's really, really bent and uh, ugly. It would mess up a little bit of the airflow, but that's not a big issue. But the big issue is that I don't like how it looks. Back to work. Cut the brake supports. Stop. These things ding together 24 7. Stop. Okay, we're good. I got the brake supports apart. Here's one. And here's the second one. I had to heat it up and torque it open. Can you believe there are so many parts to a brake support? Jesus Christ, look at all that. Whatever. Now we're gonna clean these things up, prime these sides, and get that primed as well. Since I have all of the uh, brake calipers out here laid out, I wanted to take a video for reference how they look before being cleaned. I already cleaned this one, but I just hit the other side with paint remover since I need to clean it completely that's that what i decided about the Bazzetti side stand is that uh there's no point in repainting it because those areas are going to get worn down anyways because those are the same areas that get used what i did was i just removed the rust for right now then i'm gonna degrease it and i'm gonna prime it just so it doesn't rust over and that's all i'm gonna do with that still haven't decided what i'm gonna do with the spring and uh for this i put on a little bit more body filler because i just didn't fully fill it in yet the main goal right now clean everything in order to be able to start priming everything thing because I want to do the wheels today as well. This is kind of a bit of a chill time because most of the work is already done. Here's a little progress update for you guys, what I have done so far. I removed the, uh, I don't even know what those things are called, the things that are in there from the tires, tires, wheels, whatever, the rims, they're right there. I'm gonna prepare the other side for priming on these wheels, then Bondo that a little bit, fully cleaned it up so it's good. Then the variator cover still had some little blemishes on it, so fixed up those blemishes, and I'll sand the blemishes down so it looks fully perfect the brake supports are right here that's how the brake supports are looking they are fully cleaned except for you can see some brake fluid on them because i blew them out with the air compressor i'm going to degrease them anyway so the only difficult thing that i have to understand is how the flip am i going to clean the inside of this spring i have no idea how to do it that's a huge problem so hey guys, I'm back to give you a progress report. It's been a very long day today, but I have done so much. Here's one thing. I started priming the rims. I didn't finish because I ran out of primers since I had one half full bottle and one almost empty bottle. And that means we have to go get even more primer, which is fine and dandy. We have the time and the resources. Here's another thing that I did. It's the Bazzetti side stand. I was thinking that maybe I should fully repaint it, but then I was like, no. So I just removed the rust from the bottom 
the rust from this thing and uh, primed it just so it has like that extra little glossiness to it. Moving on to even more fun stuff that I did. You see this? I hit it with even more body filler to fill up some of the little holes that were left in there. And now the crankcase is fully perfect. It can't get any better and I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. It's Perfect. Let's move on to this area. Uh, got to get in here. Here's the spring. It's looking good, but not fully done because it's impossible to clean the inside. I sanded it down with sandpaper, going through every little gap to get it as smooth as possible, but I'm not gonna be able to get that paint off with any paint remover and sanding and cleaning. I have no idea how to do it, so I'm just gonna leave it and prime it as is because it's pretty soft to the touch anyway. Here's another beautiful thing that I did. I've got body fillers in a lot of spots because it had a lot of scratches on it. It was very dinged up, but now it's perfectly smooth. So this is going to get primed and then this is going to get hit with some heat resistant clear coat because it's an exhaust. Dang, right? Here are the brake supports, which I think I showed you. I'll just show you one after the other. Yes, there's a little bit of rust in there, but that doesn't matter. There's one brake support. That was the back side of the back one. Here is the front side of the back one. They're just clean. <laughs> and this is the back of the front one not bad either the front of the front one i'm gonna show this one once more in a good light yeah beautiful and that is all i did today very tiring day to say the least but i am so glad i just wanted to put in the hours because we're gonna be putting the bike back together soon and tomorrow is the day i'm gonna finish priming all of the metal parts you probably think that i'm gonna redo the fairings and yes i had that idea in the beginning but after how long all of this took i don't really want to find out how long the fairings are gonna take so what i did is i sold some parts i had speedo laying around and clutch wing a bunch of filters and everything and uh, I racked up some money to go to a workshop and just have the fairings painted there because I want to have them guaranteed looking perfect. Also I decided that I'm going to redo the seat as well and have it stitched in like the color of the stitches that is gonna be on the fairings. I will see you in a few seconds in your time. I'm back. It's the next day. I went to Home Depot. By the way, I went to three whole Home Depots and the primer was bought off from all of the depots. So I'm not going to be priming anything today and hopefully none of the stuff rusts over. I ordered some online. It should be here in the next three days, maybe. And I'm going to have to go get it. Until then, I decided that I could do some other things and parts like cleaning the exhaust or modifying some of the fairings that I wanted to modify. I'm actually going to do the general cleaning of the garage because it's very dirty and I think it just needs to be cleaned up i'll show you how it looks everything is just chucked in random piles there's the old drill that no one needs it's very dirty in general we're gonna get all of it clean so here's the current setup after having cleaned all of the garage completely never believed it was gonna look less clean afterwards damn the air compressor is clean too except for this thing it's not clean then you might be asking where are all the fairings i brought the fairings down into the basement i finally got primer ordered off some random latin inside got it the next day found two little dents that i'm gonna fix i'm gonna start with priming these after that will be good all the metal parts will be finally primed let's go Today is actually quite a big celebration because I finally finished priming all of the parts. Here are the last parts that I primed. Wheels got done, fully primed, primed right here as well. It doesn't get much better than that. Also, brake supports look like new. We are finally done with priming. Well, except for one thing. I'm gonna have a stage six, I don't know what it's called, the riser thingy that you put under your shock so the rear of the moped sits higher, which is uh, quite rare since they don't make them anymore. And I was pretty hyped about that. For right now, all of the large work has surpassed us and uh, we have a fully primed and ready to paint moped. And soon we will be putting it all together, which is very hype. And by the way, I'm selling parts as well. You can DM me. Even if I'm uploading this late, I probably still have a whole bunch of parts that I can sell. I'll put a link in the description or pop it up on screen what I'm selling currently. And you can get parts from me if you need to. Sold this to one dude, made a quick 15 bucks. I'll give you a status update at some point, probably when I'm going to be washing the fairings, maybe. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll keep all right. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode. I'm so thankful for you tuning in back to my YouTube channel. 
And I'll give you a friendly reminder to click that like and subscribe button. You know where they are. They're all there down below. If you want to, you can do that. If not, then not. But with that being said, I will see you in the next upload. Bye, guys. And I keep a pretty bitch put up. Ride through with a show, I'll be chilling with my foot up. Niggas all cat bullshit, niggas pull up. Master P and 98, that little nigga got the hook up. I'ma make a drop of jaws every time a nigga pull up. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Every time you turn around, that nigga, he the top. You would think the baby popcorn the way the nigga pop.